What's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today we are taking a look again at the Montreal Canadiens. We are 6 days, 10 hours, 51 minutes and 38 seconds at the recording of this video from the NHL Draft. The Montreal Canadiens hold the first overall pick but there's a lot of contention between Who's going to go first overall? Not necessarily what we were expecting this to end up being. It kind of seemed like in January that it was a consensus that David uh, Shane Wright would be first overall. And that's not necessarily the case now. Bob McKenzie, a TSN insider, um, has kind of gone off the board here. He has finished his final rankings and his number one skater for North American skaters might surprise you. So we're going to go over that today. So Bob McKenzie is really the big leader in this whole, uh, you know, as if there wasn't enough debate about who could go first overall. Montreal really likes this Lovkovsky kid. And then Bob McKenzie comes out with his final draft rankings and the top draft prospects one through five are in this order Carter Gauthier at five Simon Nemesh at number four Logan Cooley at three Shane Wright at number two and Juras Lakovsky at number one as the top prospect from TPS Turku so kind of interesting to see how that dynamic has changed you know Shane Wright you know, the big reason that this, you know, because obviously Bob McKenzie got a lot of heat, especially from you Habs fans out there, about him picking uh, Slavkovsky as the number one pick. And the reason he said that was, and this is in quote from Bob McKenzie, he said, Shane Wright has left scouts wanting more during his draft year this season. He didn't really wow anybody. And you have to remember, you know, throughout COVID and stuff, he is one of those guys that did not play very much. Um, you know, playing up in the OHL and Kingston, you know, they were one of those leagues that got hit pretty hard and, and did not play very much. So Shane Wright missed a whole season last year. He also you know, was coming back this season with obviously high expectations. And this is also from Mackenzie Moroslavkovsky saying Slavkovsky has finished at number one ahead of Shane Wright on his polls. Uh, he just thinks what, you know, again, he did, he had two really good um, international tournaments. And that's kind of the knock on Slavkovsky is we're basing him being the first overall pick because of two international tournaments. Is that enough for him to be first overall? And you ask most Habs fans, they will tell you no. They think that they should still go after Shane Wright. Now, here's the other argument to this that, you know, I think a lot of people kind of get lost in. And this is that, you know, overall, who is the more valuable player? Is it the centerman or the winger? You ask 90 people, 89% of them are going to tell you it's probably going to be the center. At least 89, 90% of them will tell you it's the center. Now, the reason for that is because, again, the center ice position holds so much value in the NHL. And normally when you look in an NHL draft, again, not all of the time, but a lot of the time, we don't see defensemen go first overall. If you went over the last 10 years of first, first overall picks, how many of those guys would be center? Most of them, right? So... When you look at it in that sense, it would be off the board for, like, Slavkovsky would really have to have made it that big of an impact to overtake Shane Wright. So, let's just say their value is absolutely the same, right, between Slavkovsky and Shane Wright, based off of their positions, if that is the debate, and it's that thin needle of a margin, you go for Shane Wright. The only way that Slavkovsky gets this is if Montreal truly believes as a skilled player, Slavkovsky is better than Shane Wright. That is how this is going to work. And we've seen that happen in the past. Patrick Kane went first overall. Alexander Ovechkin went first overall. Those are wingers. It is possible, but it is you have to be that good of a player. And again... 
it's obviously Montreal, so the Habs fans are just being blended into the media because this is the team that you want to create buzz around, right? The Montreal Canadiens, who will they pick? They want that debate, but I truly think it is more than just smoke and mirrors. I really do think that, you know, Kent Hughes and Jeff Gorton are really considering taking Slavskovsky overall. If I was a betting man, I'm taking Shane Wright still. I, I am still taking Shane Wright because of the position, but I do think this is a very interesting debate. A lot of people still have Shane Wright first overall, but obviously Bob McKenzie creating a storm going with Slavskovsky first overall. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Who do they take, Slavkovsky or Shane Wright? I, you know, the consensus with most of my Habs videos in this debate, a lot of you guys have said it should be Shane Wright. But of course, I want to hear your guys' opinions. Thank you so much for watching, and let's go Habs.